Hey guys, and welcome to the very first Cooking in the Kitchen with a Lion. This is y'all's second tier reward because if you don't know this, I did a 24 hour stream and the first tier was to do a Cliff Fairy photo shoot, which I done did um, and it was released on Valentine's Day because Cliff Fairy Pink and Valentine's, that's the way to go. This tier was the second tier, which is I am like pretty much the worst cook that you will ever meet in your life. So I decided to have that as a tier and do a cooking video of it and then I selected like four different things for you guys to pick on Twitter and hardcore grilled cheese one. And I don't know if you guys know this, especially if you're new, but grilled cheese is pretty much the hardest thing for me to cook for some odd reason and it sucks. So let's see how this goes. I got an awesome apron that was sent in by one of you guys and I'm gonna wear it. I'm excited. Let's do this. Alright, so the first thing that I normally do when I make grilled cheese is put on an apron because I'm classy uh, and that's what classy people do. We just but on aprons. So let's see if I can do this right. The second camera that you will see on the counter just chilling uh, because why not? Okay, this looks like I can make it. Crap. All right, so let's get started. So for my hardcore grilled cheese, I've got bread that I think is expired because I don't remember when I bought it. I got hot Cheetos because you can't have hardcore anything without hot Cheetos. I got pepper jack cheese because we're gonna burn our mouths off. Mexican and I like everything very spicy. So with that being said, I have a serrano pepper because you can't have anything hardcore grilled cheese unless you have a serrano pepper. And that's what this bad boy is. I love you so much. So on to the cooking phase of this awesome, tested, spicy, hardcore grilled cheese. I don't remember how to make grilled cheese. Holy crap. Oh, duh. You gotta put some on the bottom to melt the bread and the bread to make it crispy. You know what I mean? So let's go and do that. Let's turn up our oven to all the way hot because we want this fast. We got things to do, right? Everybody's got like... Alright. And then we'll get two pieces. Actually, you know what? We're gonna make this a double decker whatever it's called. So one, two, three, four pieces of bread. Inspect for mold because um, you never know like if your bread's moldy, especially when you don't know when you purchased it. You're gonna wanna check to see if there's any mold and bugs that grow in your bread because it's happened before where I've made like French toast and then I'm like, oh yeah, this is good. And then I take a big bite and I'm like, what the heck what was that fuzzy thing? Like, I don't remember that being in my food. And then you look down and there's like a huge thing of mold and that's gross. So, okay, so we have this thing up and running or whatever. I don't have butter, so what's better than butter is Pam. I'm just gonna like spray that on there. Spray. Yeah, that looks good. Spray that, get that nice and steamy. Yeah, you like the way that steams, it's there. Then, once that's already done, you gotta place your bread all up in there. Make sure that the bread is up in there, just getting all toasty. Because what is grilled cheese without a crunchy outer layer, right? Then, what you're gonna have to do is, oh, we're gonna need a bowl. We're gonna need a bowl. And what's better than a bowl is a poke bowl. Pokeable. Pokeable. And then, uh, oh crap. The next portion of this grilled cheese, that is already burning. Okay, no it's not, no it's not, we're good. So what you're gonna wanna do is use the Cheetos as like a garnish, you know what I mean? You're gonna open up the bag of Cheetos, you're gonna just pour some in your Pokeball or mist, like all over the place. It's fine, because like, this counter is completely clean. And then, or as much as you think that you're gonna want. Um, I love hot Cheetos, so I'm gonna pull them out or whatever. So next, what you're gonna do is, that's still burning. Oh, there's, oh crap, there's things, oh crap. Holy crap, is that supposed to happen? Oh crap. It's smoking, it's smoking, roll down. Oh man. It's not even me this time. What is that? Is that noodles? That's fine now. Yeah, I think we're good. So what you want to do next is just grab yourself a cup because you're going to want to smush the hot Cheetos. So what we're going to do is the hot Cheetos are in this thingy. You're just going to go take out all your frustrations. Everybody, they're going to push me, cut me, 
Friday night meal. So all of the work week, the stuff that you had, you just have to take them out on your Cheetos. You really just gotta get them all up in there. And by the time you know it, you've got hot Cheeto crumbs. And that's what you're gonna put on top of this bad boy. I think what we're gonna do next is put our pepper jack cheese. It's gonna be like double layer of hot. So we're gonna put pepper jack cheese on the first layer, like so. And then you're gonna wanna sprinkle just a little bit of hot Cheetos onto your thing in the bobber and then you're gonna put your thingy thing like this on top of so you're just gonna place it right on top like so you're gonna just want to press down just a little so the cheese melts in it um, don't worry about the burnt marks in the back because it'll get better um, in time and you know what burnt tastes a little good for you anyway after that what you want to do is spray just a little bit of Pam on top of the burger or whatever it is that you're making and then you're gonna to wanna to slice this Sedano pepper because this is what's gonna go on top and this is what's gonna make the grilled cheese the hardcore grilled folk cheese cheese. So you're just wanna just gonna grab yourself a plate and like throughout all of this, don't really worry about washing your hands um, because like it boosts your immune system when you get like stomach viruses, you know what I mean? So don't even worry about it. So I have my knife here. You're just gonna wanna, that's smoking a lot. Is so that supposed to happen? Yeah. Oh, sorry. You're just gonna like maybe cut like a fourth of it. Give it a good whiff. Oh, give it a good whiff. Uh, keep the seeds and like actually you're just gonna saute them just a little. So you're just gonna cut down like so. Ouch. Make sure you use a butter knife because you don't want to cut yourself. So you're just gonna mix that in there right there. You want to hear that sizzle. Look at that. Look at that sizzle. And like yeah we got one horn of this hardcore grilled cheese and it is smoking. Like you want it to smoke. You know what I mean? Like you want it to have that like smoky look inside of it. You want to have like your fire department come. And after that, you're just gonna saute it a little bit. You're gonna put another grilled cheese, or like another like cheese, on top already burnt sort of Cheeto, because that's what's gonna make it too, you know? And you're, if you want to use butter, you totally can. It'll probably be healthier for you, and I don't know if that's edible. Whatever, you know what I mean? You're gonna wanna flip this. Thing says a hardcore grilled cheese patty like burnt to a char grilled cheese. Oh man. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Oh man. Okay, we gotta lower that temperature just a little. We are gonna call the fire department up in here. So, oh man, we forgot to put the bread. Silly. So, what you wanna do is you're gonna have to put the bread on top of the thingy thing. Uh, we need to put some hot Cheetos on that too. So, like, just like the main thing. Is that you just don't forget the bread because the bread's the main part of the whole thing. <clears throat> so you're just gonna place that on top and then like kind of shift it around a little bit. Okay, so the bread, the like cheese got burnt, so it's not gonna work. So you're just gonna like put the Sedano peppers on top like that. Like, look at how good that saute. Yeah, I mean, like, look at how good that looks. Uh, camera died on me while I was making this so we got to do this like I was thinking I'm just gonna start all over because like you know I gotta make this professional but like a professional would keep on going so I'm gonna keep on going after you do that I turn that off a little bit because it was getting a little too hot now that we're getting a lot of like C2 poisoning uh, <clears throat> we just kind of keep the ball rolling so I'm just gonna put another cheese on top of this, and it's fine because we're just gonna place this bread on top because it already has a smell on it. What you're gonna wanna do after that is call up all your friends and invite them over. Tell them, come on over, Jimmy. Come on over, Mario, Larry, Davis. Everybody just come. 
come on over because I made grilled cheese and it is hardcore. I guarantee you, everybody is going to want to show up to your soiree because who wouldn't? And then after you do all that, <clears throat> simple, you got to just look. do it today. It's cooking. It's getting all melty, it's getting all good, getting all cheesy, because that's what we want in a hard grilled cheese. And then, look at that. Look at that oozy, goozy cheese. That's exactly what we wanted. Why wait is my motto. I always like to say, <laughs> screw it, let's just eat away. It's gourmet. So I just, I just put it on top, let it marinate. <clears throat> oh man, I wonder if my neighbors can smell that this is burning. A lot of fancy restaurants like to put garnish on top of their food, and so do I. So, I I like to live life on the fancy side, and there you have it. Your gourmet hardcore grilled cheese right there, waiting for you to be consumed. I'm so ready to eat this. Hardcore grilled cheese, Sedano pepper, pepper jack, no stick olive oil pan, and hot Cheetos. Just mix it together. You need it a little crispy. This is just the right amount of crisp that I needed. And you're ready to go. You're ready to have a party full of all your friends. You just need a nice glass of epicac to throw this right back up because it's probably not good for you. And you might want to seek medical attention if you actually eat something like this. So don't try this at home. <clears throat> also, I'm pretty sure my alarm is gonna go off. So I have used three cameras for this shoot. Um, so you're gonna see like three different <coughs> perspectives because they were all full when I started recording, but because things happened, alarms went off, um, I had to keep switching. <coughs> and I had to open my window because it got so cloudy in here. It was hard to breathe. But I just wanted to show you guys what we made together, collaboratively. Just so you guys can see the interior of what we've created. I mean, look at that. Look at how magical that looks. It's got Cheetos inside, it's got Serrano pepper, um, and it's got Pam, and it's amazing. That is how you cook. If you want to make your man happy, you want to make your woman happy, mom, dad, sister, brother happy, this is what you need to do right here. It shows them, mom, dad, I'm ready for the real world. I am so ready to be out there on my own um, cooking for myself. It shows them that you are independent and you don't need anybody to cook for you. Um, and they will be so proud of you that you'll never have to worry about independence. Again, I guarantee it. Like, if you have leftover hot Cheetos, like I do, I use mine for a garnish and to put inside because I don't believe in putting a garnish on food that I can't eat. Like, I hate that. And going to a restaurant, like, they put like a little piece of un inedible lettuce on top of your food, no thank you, okay? If you can put some hot Cheetos instead, that would be perfect. So that's what I like to do with the extra hot Cheetos that you have. If you want to make an extra grilled cheese for like your significant other or like a brother or your sister or, you know, your um, I was gonna say your dog, but don't give this to your dog. You know, put this on there. And if you are having a bad day, like at school or whatever the case was, like mix some chamoy and some trechas in this. Get yourself a pickle, chop it up, and dip that in there. You got yourself the best kind of like either did you just get broken up with? Boom, pickle, hot Cheetos, trechas, chamoy. Best thing ever. You get like a bad test grade. Boom. Uh, you get a good test grade. Boom. Like. That thing seriously is miracle work. Anyway, I hope you guys liked uh, cooking in the kitchen with Lion. This is our first ever. This was a thank you for letting us hit uh, Mark goal, the 24 hour stream. The first one was Clefairy and now this one. Uh, you have like three more. You've got three more on the way. You've got three more on the way. So I hope that you enjoy these. Let me know if you want me to do another Cooking with Monica segment. I normally, I'm like I mentioned before, I'm a really terrible, terrible cook. So I normally try my best not to cook. That's what, that's why this happens. But anyway, I love you guys. 
I hope you have um, an amazing day. Um, don't forget to like, comment what you like to make. Um, do you have something that's hardcore? Do you have something that's like, I can make something better. Like, make a video, show me. I wanna see what your rendition of a grilled cheese is. Let me know, I wanna know. Shout out to my dog. She has suffered uh, the, you know, poisoning of the air that's been in the air, right, little muffin? Um, it's really stuffy in here. I can hardly breathe, so I can hardly breathe. So I hope you had fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be doing a bunch more stuff like this. <coughs> I'm dying. But anyway, we love you. We hope you have an awesome weekend, or whenever you watch this. Love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye!